We're going to read two pages from the Apocalypse of Yajnavalkya. This is mind-blowing stuff, so make sure you listen all the way until the end. This section is called A Genetic Anchor. From their current home in the celestial realm, the Atlanteans are preparing for a transformative return to Earth, but not simply because the age of Pisces draws to a close or because of a special great conjunction. The movements of the stars relative to Earth do not materially impact the Atlanteans. They have other existential reasons to remain connected to and concerned about the planet. As you have seen in the previous ages, the Atlanteans have a great facility for accurate prophecies and predictions, from cosmic events to how governments will react in this very moment. They have prophesied a great harvest of humanity that is nearly upon us. Of course, as the Atlanteans' fallen descendants, the Nephilim can decode these predictions as well and do not want the lay people, that's the sheeple people, to have such knowledge. Thus, knowing their ancestors' righteous plan to return to earth at the dawn of the new age, the Nephilim endeavor to make it as inhospitable a place as possible, environmentally, ethically, and genetically, in an attempt to cause the Atlanteans to forsake their ancestral home and leave it to be consumed by evil. The Nephilim cannot give up their violent ways. Today, increases in violence, exploitation, and environmental degradation represent their intentional efforts to ruin the earth for the Atlanteans' purpose. They have not changed their core destructiveness in thousands upon thousands of years. They have only changed their tactics and become more sophisticated by stealing regular human inventions and preventing them for their own or, excuse me, perverting them for their own uses. They spray substances into the atmosphere and call it bio-warfare readiness exercises, or geoengineering, under the guise of saving the planet from climate change. But make no mistake, their motives are nefarious. Most recently, they succeeded in deceiving a large portion of Earth's population into repeatedly taking experimental gene therapies. You know that word that starts with a V? That's what they're talking about. And now they are leading the world to a brink of nuclear war. Tyranny advances around the globe today as the Nephilim endeavor to cement their control over humanity before the Atlanteans return. They want to become powerful enough to continue ruling the world after their more ethical cousins arrive. Avoiding speciation. Why is the Earth still beloved and, or excuse me, beloved by the great... Atlanteans? Why is it still valued by the Atlanteans? This planet represents their genetic anchor to humanity. They have colonized other worlds, separating their population from its mother gene pool, and these other worlds have different gravity, light, and atmospheric conditions, causing the Atlanteans to evolve in different directions from humans on Earth. In some cases, their eyes have grown bigger, and their complexion has changed, as observed in so-called alien encounters. This separate evolution can only carry on for so long, however, before Atlanteans and humans can no longer interbreed and instead become a separate species. The Atlanteans are trying to prevent that rupture, periodically returning to mate with humans and maintain a flow of genes between them and Earthlings, preventing humanity from fracturing into several or several even hundreds of different interstellar species. Such a rupture would have spiritual consequences as well. New Age spiritu spiritualists say Atlantean souls have been incarnating into humans on Earth with increasing frequency over the past 50 years, a phenomenon referred to as starseeds and indigo children in the anticipation of the Great Return. If the two groups speciated, then the interbreeding could or uh, could no longer happen, preventing humans from ascending after death and reincarnating on other worlds. Native Americans, as well as the Indian yogis, talk extensively about other worlds with humans on them who were allowed to go there after conducting themselves well on your planet.